Hello, this is Gihan Pereira. Thank you so much for joining me. I want to talk today about artificial intelligence AI, and I want to share with you some examples, some real life examples of AI being used in the world, uh, AI in the wild, if you like. And uh, for each of them, I'll describe them briefly and ask you to think about what does this mean for you, your team, and your organization. So the first one is Samsung engineers use ChatGPT for advice about some of the software that they were writing. So they uploaded some of their software to ChatGPT and asked for advice, not really thinking about the consequences of the fact that they were uploading proprietary data to this third party. And when Samsung heard about it, they completely banned the use of ChatGPT for their engineers, but they're doing the right thing. They're now building their own AI so that their software engineers can now safely ask those same sort of questions. Now, we don't all have access to the resources of Samsung, but we are all going to face similar situations with people unintentionally sharing confidential information with AI. How are you going to manage that? A second example is a lawyer who asked ChatGPT to create a, a brief which he submitted to court uh, and I was horrified to find out that many of the sources and cases that ChatGPT quoted were completely made up, not even wrong, but completely made up. And he said he had no idea that he could falsify information like that. So he's got into trouble with the court now. He's backtracked and apologized, and now he's waiting to see what penalties he'll face. Um, but this is one of the, again, one of the problems with AI is not 100% accurate. How are you going to deal with that? Uh, the third example from the education sector, this was, uh, there was a lot of controversy when ChatGPT was first launched about schools and universities um, because ChatGPT would let their students cheat. Uh, this lecturer took a different approach. He said it's out there. So he got his students to use ChatGPT for an assignment and then they all looked through it and did their own grading and assessment and critical thinking around it. And he found that there were a lot of them, there were a lot of fake quotes, fake sources, misinformation that ChatGPT generated. But he was teaching his students how to use this powerful tool, but to use it effectively. And the last example, this is a budding entrepreneur who used ChatGPT to generate income. So he said, I'm going to give ChatGPT $100 and ask it to make as much money as possible. And, and it, it recommended creating a website uh, with an affiliate program around climate change, sustainability and green credentials and promote products and earn a commission from that. And he um, earned and made more money than the $100 that he invested. So it's an example of ChatGPT really being used to create a new business, which was a profitable business right from the start. Okay, so those are four examples of AI being used in the wild. What does that mean for you, your team, and your organization? I hope this sparks some questions for you to think about when you're using AI. How are you going to use it and how can you use it effectively and safely? If you'd like to look at that a little bit more detail, I've got an online assessment for you, which is Are You Ready for AI? And there's 16 questions where you can rate yourself and your organization in terms of readiness for using AI effectively. Uh, you can do it, it only takes about five minutes to do. And at the end of it, provide your name and email address and it'll and I'll email you a personalized report um, based on your responses and it'll help guide you in how you start using AI. Um, please try it out. I think you'll find it useful. I'll see you in the future.